Hello everyone, my Hexa here with a new session of Danganronpa. Uh, last time we left where everyone was reunited in the cafeteria, but our friend with the silver hair is missing. Is the only one missing. But you know, I told you last time, I don't believe that she's already dead. She looks so sturdy. So right now we are going to talk to each and every one of them. So let's see what happens. And also this girl, Sayaka Maisono, she autoproclaimed herself the or as, as our assistant. I don't trust her. She's she's weird. There's something behind her. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone is played up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Byakuya oh. and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Uh, I still haven't remembered... Or, yeah, I, I don't remember all the names and the faces, so I'm not sure who Byakuya and Taka are. Uh, but let's try. Byakuya or Taka? Let's say... Byakuya. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy. I want to try to find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <laughs> really? That's it? <laughs> if I cover anything, naturally, I will have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. Okay. We select the other... the other person? We can, we can! Good, good! Yes! I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There I made the discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly the one room for each person! <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, thanks Sherlock! Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Oh. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms had been assigned already. <laughs> and each room key was attached to a kitchen with the owner's name positioned to it onto it. I really like her design, and I mean it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And Shihiro and I, sorry, and Shihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, Your next door neighbor, neighbor could scream your lungs out, and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it only looks like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. There are some we are gonna be here a while. What? Better to have that than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving li like wild animals. Hmm. <sighs> can be all you have to re report, can it, Mr. Hon Honors Student? Eek. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whomever's next. Okay, perfect. I don't think it should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Oh, I was. The door, okay. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I have to open your mind. It's a good school revelation, so it's better with the cameras. Uh, as much as it gets on my nerves, I'd better leave it alone. Oh! What? 
to just coins about. It's a tree. Right now it's just showing the school crest, even so it makes me feel uneasy. Ugh. Like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Shihiro all grouped together. We can choose all of them. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows on all, in all the hallways and classes. We want to see if we could get any of those metal plays to come off. And what happened was. nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, never, even a little bit. There wasn't any hope of skip anywhere. This girl really has been totally cut off. This sucks. It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Huh? Byaki and Taka went off to their own. It looks like Leon Hiro, Junko and Shihiro group together. The same goes for Hina, Sakura and Mondo. Celeste, Toko and Hifumi were left over so they joined up. Okay. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Oh. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. Huh? But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't chip. It wouldn't budge. We hit it with desk and chairs and nothing. <laughs> it was as hard as, like, metal. So this one. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be true there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. <laughs> I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were get gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. <laughs> In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. Found it. We can further assume that there, we, that there is potentially something about the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Okay. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi. Okay. If I am being honest, I quite I can't quite say we act as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly like the types to go running around the school like a goggle with junior detectives. Huh? What oh, the yes, hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? Oh. Well, it's not like any of you inv invited me along. Nobody say, hey, c come with us. 
I blamed you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you want to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Uh. Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Stomach. I... I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Mama! Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, yeah it sounds like you two are so close now, you are fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Ano? So, that's what they have to say, huh? Then, I guess I'm the only one left. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found the fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was his voice? Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat some seeds or something. What am I? What? Am I a, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Manukuma say. You saw him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. So that... Uh, a weaponized toy can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we are supposed to be afraid or not. Demo. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. Eat, eat her? <laughs> um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat? Ugh. Disgusting. Eat? What kind of eating are we talking about? C come on, man! What the hell, Fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk, dude. Not like there is a good kind of drunk, dude. Hey, it's just screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die in a second. Jesus, right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something more. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mando. You are all spending an awful lot of time, Jelly, and carry on. Huh? Yeah, I knew she wasn't dead. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accept the reality of the situation? <laughs> Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Mm -hmm. What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? <coughs> what the? Where did you find this? So? It doesn't matter where I found it. Suspicious. Remember. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. Never mind that. What's it mean? What's it mean? Just look at it. The building we are in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So, what you are saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it had, it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? Then. I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. It's so... But then, this really is Hope's Peak? We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid, it's not impossible. This is what the country's future light are supposed to come and learn. Then. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? 
hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Ooh. Worried? Let's start to get worried about. I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope Speak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Love Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that's all. It seems plain up to investigate what's a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been, been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We did, didn't find a way out. D didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going going on. Uh -huh. Is it not crystal clear, crystal clear to you what's going on? It's perfectly obvious that we have been in prison, in prison, in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us, uh, uh, staring us right in the face. <coughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying to not think about it. No way out? We are trapped here? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> How we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from, on, from now on. Like here? Are you saying we should just accept it? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. I hope I say that right. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the, or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding night time, right? Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. <laughs> So, regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out of night. I would like to make it official. Huh? Why? The way things are now, every time the night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will be, we will all be afraid someone might try and come and get to kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. <laughs> so you are suggesting we limit our activity at night as kind of preventive measure. <laughs> However, unlike all, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little got the little said. Without something like that, we are just gonna self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Huh? Hey, can you just you can just decide to speak for us? So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> Then, if you'll excuse me... Uh. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh. It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Okay. So, goodbye. Moving with poor elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. 
Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone trying to stop her. <coughs> so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. <coughs> so, Mr. Chairman... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. <coughs> Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Like you say, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene, reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? You really have to stay the night here? We don't have a choice. We can go for long without getting some sleep. So we just, we have to just give up. <sighs> That's a fine and good for today. Day, but what do we to do tomorrow? Yeah, honey. Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <sighs> then we are done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movement, everyone head off to the private rooms. <laughs> Makuta, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where we will be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Wrong. Not locked. Holy crap! Please oh. talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bird ghost. What are you doing here? This is super duper magically bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason you won't open is because it's locked? Isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Didn't you see the notice? What? Can you read? The bathrooms in the boys' room don't have locks. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm not expert on the birds and the bees and the turtle. Anyway, there is a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you're just gonna turn the door now, then lift it up while you pull. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob, lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. See? It opens right, right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You are supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you are not lucky at all. Tainara. Anyway, I certainly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! H hey, wait! Damn it. Hmm. Looks like it's night time. We had promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling, while, while still mumbling to myself, 
I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed, almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I would spend an entire day staring at TV watching movie, at, at TVs watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made of fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we have suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up I realized it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as ending go, endings go, but I would rather, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that would be the best. And In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma will be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid, thank you all very much. Remember that you are all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I hope it's not like the guy in the in the first scene <laughs> going to the moon and all. Okay. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what shall I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from there to from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Yeah. Good morning, Makoto. G good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our better best through of the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Kyotaka. Okay. Where was. Ah, oh, Sayaka is next to me. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Listen, I have a favor to ask. Favor be what? A favor? I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever puts, put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when, we, when they might attack. So, I just want to be able to protect myself, no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself? Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym! Okay, let's go! Uh, again? Like I say, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. So this is a predict. Anyway, you should head to the gym. 
Uh, for anyone who just hates walking around school, we have got some good news. She cannot teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There is a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Is that a reality or was that like a... Um, about the stuff getting stuck in the walls? <laughs> like, is that true to the story or is it just a way to cover the box that this game has? Just want to explore the layout of the school. Oh! Okay, for me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I see this. Is the Nike Miss my son? No? Oh, where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman growing closer. Hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it but to say... How very poetic. Ano? Makoto, do you have any idea he's talking about? Nope, I don't have a clue. Ugh, you're disgusting, my friend. Oh, what? We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good, then let's get moving. I can never check what this door is about. More bathrooms. Well, hello. I hope that two, the two of you are having a nice day. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow it's strange. Yoroshii Given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> well, I'm off. Ano? Shall we get going? Yeah. I don't really want to teletransport because... Uh, oh. Oh. I think we will miss stuff. The door won't put, it must be locked. Yeah, I can see that. I'd love to find out where the stairs lead, but there's no way to pa to do but there's no way past the gate. What's what's the point of having stairs if George is gonna block them off? Okay, so I really do need the map. Um, map. Dining hall. Laundry. Okay, we shall go here, but first I want to talk to all these people.
I am lost again. Wait. Am I getting here? And I cannot pass? the G. Wait. Oh, no. Sorry. This is the laundry. Um. Do we have to go through the door? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so these are classrooms. This pair hotel, mm -hmm. that's where we came from. This is Monokoma's office. The door will but it must be locked. Okay. Uh-huh, then... Oops, sorry. AB room, okay. Oh, there's a lot of people here already. Talk together with those other two, quite a combination. What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <coughs> Let me make this perfectly cl clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles where th their brains should be snapped by choice. <coughs> wow, that's super mean. Ma. Just thought you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. <coughs> I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me farther into your, your mid dimension. Jeez, mm. I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? What? You shouldn't pressure her any further. Sodeba. Oh, yeah, good point. Sure, like what are annoying anyway. It'll be weird if they did get along. Who it is? Sup, guys? What are you up? Sorry. <laughs> what are you up to? Mm. We are picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we fight something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know a sup. Okay, that's all you have to say. What? <laughs> what about you, Sakura? <laughs> We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. And that's why you went with Hina and Toko? Sorry. Well, Hina is the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, understandable. That's all? Okay. Uh, and the gene was this way. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Like we can inspect everything? There's all kind of stuff in the shelves up above. Below. Is 
a helmet of some sort. What is something like that on display? Nice. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it and got that gold stuff all over my hands. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. You should take it with you. It might help leaving up your room a little. You think so? But I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could use really for s for self-defense. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen... <laughs> sure, man. When the time comes, I'll protect you. you protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I, if I cut you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka jiggled as she say that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. Don't trust her, don't trust her. When I look at her, I honestly feel I can do anything. No, don't trust her. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we are here, let's hang out a bit more. Eh, I still want to know more about the stuff that was here. I miss these things. A plague? I get to commemorate some kind of championship. Some terracotta clay figu figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'll put in a high school gym. Nice. It's a gold statue of Buddha? Why is something like that on display? something you need to do in the gym? Um, no, not really. Huh? Um, I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we are here, I don't really know what to talk about. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, to... Sorry. It's okay. She's going to kill me. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. You can just, I don't know, stare into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off the space? Uh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. It's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Hey, um, this is kind, kind of out of nowhere, but... Oh, Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I love to hear. I... my dream is... 
I have always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? And my dad worked really late night every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. But, I'll, but that'll change when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I want to be someday. I want to give that kind of, of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became a dream. That's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. Oh. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had come they had to come true. But to do that, you can take your eyes off of your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, where you are awake, where you are asleep, to make your dream reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. I is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all?違います. Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. でも... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? I enjoy every single day. I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We are rivals in a way, but they are they all mean so much to me. We have been performed together since we were young, so they're they are all like family to me. Without them I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the if the world gets tired of us, what then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their w their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrifice so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. So, that's the reason I decided to come to help speak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we are trapped here, with no way out. They are probably waiting for me. <laughs> While I'm here, the world of here up there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute we are all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? <laughs> I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'll feel that way. Trapped his way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The way she's caring, I can't even imagine it. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I kinda killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka, actually... Are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Yes. Do, you want me, do you want me to make us something to eat? It might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? 
chili oil? Do you mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her early mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, but some kind of neutral expression. Yeah, I knew she is not all sunshine and rainbows. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake floor covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Ooh, you're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, yeah. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow class classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Oh, come by early and often. At certain points, you will witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. Oh, interesting. These event cards these events can also open up new skills which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end, and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free, in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Ayaka Maisono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? <coughs> Okay, but guys, I think I will leave it until here. I... yeah, I feel... You see, with my Omori playthrough, the sessions were really short, about half an hour, because a lot of things happen real fast, but this one, yeah, we need more time. I'm trying to... I'm trying to record uh, one hour sessions, but yeah, things move slow, uh, at least right now. I hope in the next uh, sessions everything will be a lot uh, smooth, it will be smoother, uh, and I do want to, I do want to play uh, in a very lengthy way, I mean as having conversations, uh, trying these gifts, trying to get into friendships and that kind of stuff. So, I really want to know what's behind everyone, because everyone is really interesting. We just have uh, Sayaka, it was Sayaka, yeah. Uh, Sayaka has a really dark uh, fear, and I get her, so I knew she wasn't uh, all happiness and all, uh, but I'm still not ready to trust her. But let's see how everything plays out. So, thank you guys for accompanying me, and see you next session. Bye.